Now, as uh, you know, Children in Need is on Friday, and this year we're being treated to a special performance from a group of young drummers. They range in age from 7 to 17 and have travelled from across the South to rehearse over the last six months. And they all have one thing in common. They are autistic. Autism makes it difficult for them to deal with structure, loud noises and concentration. They're called Drum A. And as Sarah Farmer explains, they've been on quite a journey. I'm going to play four beats. One, two, three. No, me first of all. One, two, three, four. And then your go. My go. A simple beat which will soon become the pulse of this year's Children in Need drumming performance. 17 youngsters from across the South have come together as part of a BBC project to learn to drum. Some have experience on a full kit, some have performed on stage, others are starting from scratch. All of them are autistic. It's a lifelong disability which affects how a person communicates with others around them and how they understand communication from other people and also how they make sense of the world around them. Standing up in front of a group of people, that's really challenging because he would say he doesn't know what they're feeling. They could be cross, they all could be cross with him. So I think large groups of people, especially noisy, confusing social situations can be a real challenge and it's not something we do very often. It's sort of fun, like that we make a lot of noise and stuff like that. Generally, if the individual is making the noise themselves, then that's okay, but unexpected loud noises is difficult for them. It's great, it really, it really helps you get your coordination back, get going. After one-to-one -one sessions to assess their musical ability, the drummers are divided into three parts. One backing rhythm on the African drums, and one more complex rhythm. These are then complemented by drum kits and a snare drum. The percussionists are guided by Winchester-based musical director, Major Lawrence Say. I find myself being fairly strict with them and uh, in doing that, they've, they've produced some really good quality music. Are we ready? Oh, are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lawrence. Yes. Yeah. Right, good. Next into the mix, a lead singer and a choir from the Henry Beaufort School in Winchester, working alongside the autistic children. <laughs> Getting autistic people to do this sort of thing, I mean, it's good for them as well. It doesn't matter how good or bad a drummer you are. I think it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. But as well as the musical achievement, there's a sense that this work will raise awareness of autism. Yes, we know we're different. We communicate differently. But we're no different to anybody else, whether they're disabled or not. It's just a different way of thinking and the way the brain works. Autistic kids have got a lot to offer and sometimes it's not easy to, for them to show that. Look to me. Ready, one, two, three, and... With all eyes on Lawrence, the elements start to come together and the passion for the project grows. The amount of work they're putting in and the amount of focus and attention that they're giving to the project, um, I have no doubt that they'll be 100% successful. They will. It's going to be a special night on Friday. We'll have more from them tomorrow, see how the rehearsals are going.